We end tonight with a history-making Broadway play. It is about women surviving war. The play and its Academy Award-winning star have just been nominated for prestigious Drama League Awards. Here's Anna Werner. She's trying to do good! The setting for Eclipsed is a hut in Liberia during Civil War, where three women are held as sex slaves by a rebel commander. The lead role, the character of a young girl, played by Oscar-winning actress Lupita Nyong'o. I don't know, I just think we should know who we are, what year we got, where we come from. What is something you learned about yourself doing this play? Oh, and my name is Jelani Brown. Hi, Jelani Brown. Um, uh, wow, just, I don't know. Well, I guess one of the things is that Whatever it is that I'm putting on the stage, it's, it, it's worth something, it matters. People want to come see it. Because one of the things, um, why it's taken so long for a show that only has black women, that's directed by a black woman, that's written by a black woman, it's just like, it was just like, oh, no one wants to come and see that, or there's, it, it, it doesn't matter. It sure does. Because y'all are here at this talk back after the show is closed and you still want to talk to us. People have, have come, you know, like most of the seats are taken, they're filled up, you know. So I'm, I'm learning that our voices, my voice as a black woman, as an African woman, counts. Yes. Yes. I'm not a violent person at all. And for me to have to do what I did to the girl, I mean, it destroys me every night because it's like I'm literally shaking because it's not in my nature at all. But then again, you surprise yourself when, you, when you're put in a certain situation, you wonder, who would I be? You know, because you'll be amazed at the places that you could go to, and the choices that you and the choices you had to make if you were put in that situation. What would you? Which one of these women would you be if you were in our situation? Number one. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not number two, but I really believe I would become that person mm -hmm. because I scare myself what I find doing that role in myself. I'm like, well, I cannot believe I just did that. Never found anything but prayer to really take away the pain. And I have never found anything but prayer and just reading my Bible to shut the chaos. And I have found that I can't control the chaos, but I can just control the chaos inside of my spirit and my mind and my soul. So that's what I do every day, because otherwise I feel the chaos just is everywhere, but I can take it out of inside of me. And then I can walk through sometimes, not always, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, you know, you find the peace, you just feel like, ah. I used to laugh because I have a daughter, and I used to get up at 5 a.m. to do my prayer time, so I would have 5 to 6 with just nothing. And I'd go 5 to 6, and I'd just be like, oh, shall I get up? Ah, 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 joy. And then I'd be like, I said get out of it! 